Hey y'all, another video of just tying. So what I got is, I got the uh, Disco Red Head and I got straight hackle fe a rooster hackle feather. I've already trimmed my bait keeper on there. And I'm just gonna, whoops, get my thread locked on here. I'm gonna wrap a few times. Now, where the, this is a uh, sickle hook, so where the top bend off of the shank is at, is where I cut these usually. Now, if you want a really long jig, you can cut them back further. Some people like jigs that are, you know, like, here, I'll show you. Some people want jigs that are this long. Like that we'll just actually we'll just tie up a few that are that long just to show you and then put this little feather on this side see there's a little straight hackle feather and I usually run these kind of thin and then what we can do is we'll get a little bit of Marabou flash, pull off a piece or two, then fold her up. Trim your loops so you got pieces. Stack it on the side, and lock it down a couple times. Then, tie in your piece of chenille. I got a long piece today. These are big jigs. Usually I don't wrap that long because it just gets tangled in everything. So, wrap it four or five times, whatever it needs, and lock her in. This is a, kind of a classic color, but with a little throw because this chenille is... Um, this is a new age chenille. It's called Midnight Rainbow. And it actually has got yellow, purple, blue, green. It's got all kinds of stuff. I don't know if you can. Yeah, maybe you can. There. So. But. This jig is. Uh, the difference between marabou jigs and straight tail feathers. Or, you know, hackle feathers. Um, the marabou jig poofs out. Let's get one and show you here. The marabou jig poofs out. So when it's in the water, it, it collapses back and almost just goes to nothing when you pull it. And then when you stop, it poofs back out. Um, when you're jigging it up and down, it gets waves in it. This jig with the straight rooster hackle, when you jig it, it goes like this. It... And if you jig it up, it will dart forward a little bit and then it'll swing back. And that's the reason why I like rooster hackle jigs better than marabou. But now marabou's got its... There's certain times a year where that poof, that poof flutter of the marabou just works really well. And then there's certain times of the year where this works better as in the darting and stuff. Especially if you're vertically jigging. So... I've had way more luck on rooster hackle than I have on uh, the uh, marabou jigs. So, but I uh, I enjoy fishing with them all because I just enjoy fishing. It makes you feel better when you're uh, catching stuff off of things that you made versus stuff you bought. Um, it is nice to also have I probably have a hundred colors of chenille it's uh, probably a little excessive but you know it is what it is if you have a hobby you uh, spend as much time in that hobby as you want and I spend a lot of time in my fishing hobby so and here's another difference is if you tie the feather to where the curve is towards the hook, 
it'll stick out more and uh, versus when you don't whoops I pulled that one clear out versus when you don't then uh, it it just makes it different it makes it swim different it just fills out more fluff and this this one I am going to stick just about the whole feather on it too I'm gonna leave that part off now this is a long jig I kind of got a little bit carried away with it oh, I guess I need to put my flash on see this is what happens when I try to make videos I forget all my steps then when you got to tie stuff like this and your eyeballs are about shot it's all that gray hair <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna put that on there. Okay. Yeah, now, uh, you know, it's been a while since my wife had her wreck. She's doing a lot better. Um, some of you have given me well wishes and said, you know, hope she's doing better and things like that. And uh, if you didn't know, she, my wife had a rollover accident trying to avoid a deer. So I made a video. It's kind of sappy. But I had to take care of her for a while. But that's what we're supposed to do as husbands. We, we do everything we can to get them what they want. And, uh, do everything we can to make them happy but there's a little old that I think that one's a uh, eighth ounce but I uh, I appreciate you guys watching I'm going to uh, just keep tying and one of these days I'll get done with these um, it's been a pleasure showing you guys trying to teach um my way um my way may not be the right way but my way is an easy way and sometimes people get upset with you if you don't try tie dr and uh, make jigs in a traditional fashion let me tell you i've been chewed out by guys telling me i didn't know what i'm doing but i catch fish and that's all that matters so my name's dave thanks for watching double hook angling Go catch some fish. I'm going to uh, keep tying these jigs. And hopefully I'll get to go catch some fish. Take it easy, guys.